Guitar and Excel, Interval and Modes Complement and Parallel Worksheet Part Number 8. You know, many guitarists fail because they're so focused on the idea that the show must go on, they miss the more important point, that the rock star must go off, you know? Like, you don't want the audience being like, what's that guitar guy going on about up there? What's he going on about now? Good news. Yeah, the show must go on. No, no, that's not good enough. That's not good. That kind of saying's for slackers. The show must totally go off. That's what I'm talking about. You rock! So let's start going off on Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but started in prior presentations. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you could begin back there. However, if you do have access to this workbook, there's a bunch of tabs down below, including the first two representing the end product, the final work we're putting together, the numbered tabs tying into the related video presentations so you can work through them on a step-by-step -step basis. The blue tab is where we're going to work here. It's going to start where we ended off last time. Let's do a quick recap of what we have done th thus far. Notice that we're baking two tabs here, a complement modes and a parallel mode. So we basically ended off on the complement mode a little bit ago on the tab 3022. So let's start our recap over here. So on this tab, uh, we started basically by just listing out the musical alphabet. So we had a, A sharp, B, B, uh, C, C sharp, D, E, and so on and so forth. We then numbered the musical alphabet. We then put the numbers and letters together. We then created a key, which will adjust that musical alphabet, if you think of it as a circle, to the starting point of the scale that we want to be in. In this case, a C, but we could change it here to like a G, for example. But we'll keep it on the four. And then we had our measuring tool that we put next to that starting point. First, the easy way, just saying zero, one, two, three, four, five half steps up. And, and then we did it the more confusing way with the more confusing names of those intervals. So we're just naming the intervals instead of instead of five notes up, we're going to call it a perfect fourth, right? And then we basically put a symbol for them so that we can abbreviate and then we put the total distance together with uh, the symbol. So then we took that scale that we're in, uh, the four and the C, we applied the the formula for the C major, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, to construct our worksheet on the right, which gives us the seven notes out of the 12 note scale and provides us with the chord constructions. So then we did a similar process down below, but this time it measures in terms of the intervals. So now we can look at this worksheet and we can look at the related worksheet, which will tie all of the intervals to the one note in the scale, not into each of these chords. If I want to tie into the one note of say the two chord like the D, then I can go into the related modes that we put on down below. This is the Dorian mode and now all of the intervals tie into the D. We then uh, put our worksheets on the right together, which are the fretboard, the fretboard in terms of letters and numbers, and then in terms of intervals, this being the major scale, same process, this being for the Dorian and the related modes on down below. So we got all the modes on down below and the modes are gonna be the related modes or the complement modes down below. So the root note is going to change, but all of the notes around it will be the same in essence. We put a circular format of our scale together here as well in the circle of thirds. We then looked at a situation where we wanted the parallel modes. So we have, we copied over the worksheet. We have basically the same construction, but now we just changed it so that when I go down to the Dorian, it's still a Dorian, but now it's the C Dorian. So the C is always going to be the, the one note in the scale. Okay, so now I'm going to house this new project and you could do this new project on just a blank worksheet if you want to, but I'm going to put it next to where we put the complement modes. So we left off last time on these complement modes uh, so that we had the, the Dorian underneath it and so on and so forth. 
and then I'm going to put this new worksheet on the right. Now, again, if you just want to do this as a project in and of itself on a different tab, you can, but I'm trying to minimize the number of tabs uh, that we have here and have everything kind of in one place. Okay, so this is going to be another one of these circular projects. So I'm going to try to move it out, out in the boonies over here somewhere and try to see if we can make this circular thing work. So I'm going to say, okay, let's go from, let's go from BQ and I'm going to go all the way to the right and make these a little bit skinnier. And so that we, we can see them in one spot. So there we have it. And so then let's, let's go like, see if I could just go like right in the middle of this thing. And then I'm going to go down to like, I don't know, let's start it out here, down here somewhere. And I'm going to say, we're going to start with the C. So this is going to be equal to, and I'll pick up the C from our wheel over here. So I'm just going to pick up the C from our wheel. And so there we have that. Let's see if I can try to figure out how many cells I want to make this go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go like one, two, three, four, and then over one, two, three. So then I'm going to just space out my D over here. So I'm just going to pick up the same wheel as our starting point. So the D and then like one, and then I'm going to go down like one two three four and pick up an e i might have to move these around a bit later but i'm doing my best to space them out properly one two three and then four and then over one let's put that f here so there's the f now notice i've got these long header columns i'm just going to make the columns smaller which will kind of mean you won't be able to see all of the header on the related cell to the left, but that's okay. So, so that's okay. We're, we're okay with that. And so then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Let's make this the G, the G, and then I'm going to go like one over and then one, two, three, four up. And let's make this the A. And then I'm going to go like, let's just tie, I'm just going to tie it out to that D here. So this is going to be the B. So hopefully that's sufficiently spaced out for us. So we just got this same circle. We just put our, our musical seven notes uh, in the key of C in somewhat of a circular format. That's going to be our starting point. And so, so the next thing I would like to do here is I'm, I'm going to do the same numbering system. So we're starting off with the same thing here. So we'll say this is the one. So boom, it's a one. And this is going to be the two and it's a lowercase. And we're doing the Roman numeral two. So we're starting with the same thing here, Roman numeral two. And if you, if, if, uh, if you're, you're doing this by scratch from scratch, you could just type these in here and you could, if you want a, a two, you can say Roman uh, and that'll give you a two. But if you want it lowercase, you say that it's going to be lower, uh, lower Roman two. Oh, there it goes. So you can do that or you can just type a two eyes if you want, but that's not the cool way to do it. But if you want to be, if you, if you want to do it that way, fine, fine. I guess it works, but the formula, the formula, the F is going to be, uh, let's pick up the F, the F t -t 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 is going to be t -t 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 here and then the G is going to be the five. And then this is going to be the six. Hopefully I got all of these correct because I was kind of, and then this is going to be the seven. Okay. So there we have it. So now we've got our circle, the one, the two are representing minor chord constructions. That's what the lowercase means. And I kind of like this circle too, because I, I get the one, four, five, like on the top and the bottom when it's built like this. 
which is kind of nice because those are the ones that are going to be the majors indicated by the uppercase Roman numerals. And then the ones on the side are uh, the lowercase and then you've got this diminished with the dot. So I was actually going to number them as well. So I'm actually going to push these all to the right. Let's push this to the right one. I'm going to say, let's just pull this over to the right. And then let's pull this one. Uh, I'm going to pull this one up, get them all going the same direction and then pull it to the right, pull it to the right. Uh, that didn't pull, pull it to the right, pull it to the down, pull it to the down. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to put a, a one again, you could just put a number one right now, but I'm going to try to pull it from what we've built over here somewhere. And so I'll try to pull it from our numbers over here. So there's the one. I'm going to call this the two equals the two. So there's the two and I'm going to call this the three. And so we're going to say that's the three. And then this is going to be the four. So this is the four and this is going to be the five. So we'll say, okay. This is the five and this is going to be the six. And so we'll say this is the six and then the seven. So this is going to be the seven. Okay. So there's our numbers. So we can see them in plain number format and Roman numeral, which gives us that added, that added bit. Uh, of it being uh, the, uh, the, the chord being upper or lower case. Now I also want to add the interval now and we could do that over here. So I'll add that from our interval circle and I'll put that on the right. So this is going to be uh, the position one. This is going to be uh, P1. Here it is. Position one or zero notes away because we're starting on the C. And this one then is going to be the uh, two or the, or otherwise known as the uh, major second. And this is going to be the three, which is going to be the three, to two, which is going to be a major third. And so I'm going to say, okay. And then this is going to be to, to, I'll put this up here this time. Wait, I'm down here on the F. The F is going to be equal to, 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 where am I now? I was on, the F is down here, the perfect fourth. And then the G is going to be equal to uh, the G is the perfect fifth and then the a is going to be equal to the major sixth and then the b is going to be equal to the major seven boom so now we have the intervals we have everything kind of mapped out in this one spot so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, let's format this. I'm going to make this green and we'll say this is going to be green. Let's make it that green. Now let's make it the dark green. And then I'm going to put the text as white. I'll do the same up here. Let's do this green, white, and then let's center these. We're going to center those. So that looks good. And we can put maybe some borders around it so that we can see it a little better. Okay. And then down here, I'm going to make this one red. So I'm going to make this one red and white, but I'm going to make these green to do And so we're going to say, boom, this green and white. And I need to make, I need to make it a little bit wider. So I'm going to make all these cells a little wider. So I'm going to go all the way over so I can make them the same width. So I'm going to go from here all the way over like to here somewhere 
and make this just wide enough so it fits like the widest thing, which is right here. So let's fit that one. That's the fat one. We got to fit the fat one in there. Okay. Do not shame the the major seven. It's an important interval. And so we're going to say there it is and the major seven lends weight to the whole enterprise. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is going to be an E. Let's hit the uh, let's make this orange and white. Oh, wait a sec. Not orange and gray. Orange. And then this should be white. And then see see what's happening here is so now this is green. So I'm following the green around. And so so this so this two is a D, but I'm following the green around because what we're gonna do next time is we're gonna start from the D, make it the one, and then follow the red around, which will be the Dorian, so that we have all of the modes in one place. So I can show that here. This is gonna be, I'm gonna call this, the green is gonna be the major. I'm gonna select that, or I could put it in the middle. That might be easier to do. If I just put it in the middle and then I center it and then I make this green and white and then maybe put some borders around that. Actually, no, no. This one needs like one border around the whole thing like that and then like that. Okay. And so then down here, uh, what will happen is this is going to be the Dorian. I'll put it out here. A Dorian and I'll make this whole thing red so the Dorian's going to be red and I'll put a border around the whole thing and make that white and then this is going to be let's see if I can spell it right so I'll copy it I can't so I'll copy it and there we go and then this is going to be the Phrygian it's going to be the orange and white and then We've got the Lydian, which is going to be, I'm going to call that blue. Your blue Lydian. I called it blue. And then the Mixolydian is going to be purple. Let's bring that to the middle. Let's center it, home tab, center. And we're going to make that purple. Purple and here and I'll make th this uh, blue as well let's make well let's make this one purple first since I'm on the purple and then this one's gonna be blue and then white and then this one I need to make white and then this one's gonna be the minor otherwise known as aeolian and so there we have that it's a little long so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller that one's gonna be a little small and then we're going to say that this is going to be, let's make it brown. I'm going to make it brown. Where's the brown that I used? Over here, I had a brown, like that brown. Is that what I used? And so then I'm going to say this is going to be yellow. And this is going to be the Loco Lokian, the crazy one. Keep an eye on that one. Keep an eye on that one. Okay. Home tab. And then this one's going to be boom. Okay. So there we have it. So now I'm going to center the green all the way around. So let's center this. And this is going to be green and white. And so this is going to be green and white, green, white, center. So the two is a D of the major. And it's a minor chord construction. It's a major second away. The three is an E and it's the three note of the major of the key of C and it's a major uh, third. The four is going to be the F and this should be this blue. Why did I put it a different blue? It's going to be the F and let's center it too. And it's going to be the, the perfect fourth away. And then this one's going to be purple. Let's make this purple. Boom and center it and white. So the 
this G is going to be is going to be f the fifth. The fifth is going to make a major chord, and it's the perfect seven. I mean, the perfect fifth, which is seven notes away from the C. If you talk about a twelve-note interval, uh, and then this one, I'm going to make a. S Actually, this should be green. I'm confusing myself by talking and trying to do this at the same time, which is harder than I would have thought at first. So then I'm gonna center that, there it is. So this is the six, uh, which will be a minor chord construction. And it's a major six, with it, which is nine notes away from uh, the C. And then this is gonna be, if I center this, it's gonna be green and white. This is gonna be the seven, the diminished, and it's a major seven, which is actually 11 notes away from the C, if we're looked at all 12 notes, right? So it's a, so when I say it's a major seven, notice what's happening here, just a quick recap. We only have seven out of the 12 notes. So if I say this is the perfect first, it's actually zero steps away. It's the first because it's the first note in the scale. That's what this one is telling you. It's the first note of the scale. This one is is the second note of the scale. So it's a second and it's a major second, but the second tells you it's the second note of the scale and it's the second note of of distance from the key of C if you look at all 12 notes in the scale. This one says it's a major third. That means it's the third note. That's what that three is telling you of the scale if you start on a seven note scale of C major, but it's actually four notes from the C if you looked at all 12 notes, right? And this one is uh, the, the fifth or, or the fourth, it's a perfect fourth. The four here tells you it's the fourth note in the major scale. And the five tells you that it's five notes away if you look at all 12 notes in the scale. This one is gonna be the fifth the the perfect fifth the five tells you it's the five note in the seven note scale the seven here is telling you it's seven notes away when you look at all 12 notes in the musical alphabet starting from the key of c and counting out and then this one is the six the six the major six t is telling you it's the sixth note in the scale of the c the nine is telling you that it's actually nine notes away when you look at all 12 notes in the musical alphabet and and then the seven here again is the seven notes away uh from it's the seventh note in the scale but it's actually 11 notes away when you look at all 12 notes in the musical alphabet okay let's put some brackets around these uh not that kind let's put borders all borders we want borders everywhere borderized everything needs to be in its own little box okay Everything needs to be separated. Okay, so then we're gonna go here and like if I started on the D then, then I'm just doing the same thing, same notes now, because this is just all of the complement modes, but now I'm gonna start on the D. So that means the D is now gonna be the one. Uh, it's gonna be the one, but it's gonna be a, it needs to be a minor, right? So what I can do here is I, because because all of these are gonna be the same type of chord, which is gonna be a minor chord if you constructed it from the D. So I could do it this way. This equals the lower uh, and then of this I over here, right? So now it's a lowercase I. And then if this is gonna be equal to the one, and now the one needs to be the perfect first. So let's make this is gonna be red. So now I'm gonna say this is red and white and centered and we'll put boxes around it and I shouldn't have done this one. So I'm gonna format paint over here to get rid of that. So now if I follow this around, if I go from the D to the E and now I'm looking at the red. So now it's not the three anymore. It, this is gonna be the two. If I think of this as the one, this is the two. It's still gonna be a minor chord that I would construct from it. So if I'm thinking of the D as the one, this is gonna be the two. So I know that's gonna be a two. I know that when I think about whether or not it's gonna be a major or minor chord, it's always gonna be the same. So whether this is gonna be upper or lower case will be the same. So because these are all of the complement or related modes, when I look at the E, it's always gonna be constructed from there a minor chord. So what I wanna do is, is I can just pick up the same, uh, the same 
minor, so I'm going to say that this is going to be equal to the 2 up top, and it's minor, so I don't need to change that. And then when I look at the intervals, I'm actually going to pull this from the Dorian. So I'm going to look at the Dorian. I'm going to look at the E on the Dorian that we constructed to the right. So I'm going to go down to the Dorian, and here we are, and I'm looking at the relation to the E. So there's the E, and I'm looking at uh, this then, which is going to be two note away major second. So there we have that. And so then I'm going to say, okay, let's go ahead and make that red. Let's make it white. Let's make it centered. And there it is. All right, let's also put some brackets around it. Okay, we'll bracketize it. All right, let's go to this one. So now I'm going to say, once again, let's make it red and white first so we can kind of follow that around as we do this. We're going to say, all right, this is going to be equal to, it's now the three because we're starting on the D. So now we're on the two, we're on the three. The three is going to be, it's always going to be a major chord if we construct it. So I need an uppercase here. So I need, instead of the lowercase, I need an uppercase. So I'm going to say this equals upper. And I'll just pick that three that makes it a capital uh, three here. And then I'm going to look at my related Dorian because I'm still on the Dorian because that's what the red is following. And I'm looking at the F in Dorian that we constructed over here. So I'm going to say, all right, here's the Dorian. Uh, there's the F that was the three. So I'm going to pick up this related interval, which is the minor third. So there we have it. Okay, let's center that and let's put some, let's center it, let's put some brackets around it and let's go to this one. I'll do the same thing, center, red and brackets around it. And then I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be equal to the four because we started on the red. So this is one, uh, you know, the one, two, three, and then the four. This needs to be capital as well. So I can just say this is going to be equal to the prior green one. It's already capital. So that is good. And then I'm going to look at the Dorian again. I'm still on Dorian and I'm going to look at the related to the G. So I'm going to say, where's my Dorian over here? And then I'm looking at the thing that's related to the G. So here's the G. So I'm looking at the related, which is a perfect fourth, perfect fourth. All right, I think I've got that right, hopefully. And then we're gonna say, okay, let's follow this around. Let's make this once again, red bracket, white center. And this is gonna be then the five. So we'll say this is the five. And then this is gonna be, it needs to be now a lower case so i'm going to say this is going to be equal to lower of that five so now it's in lower case and now i'm going to look for the a in dorian and find the related interval so i'm going to go all right here's my uh, dorian there is the a so let's find the related interval which is the perfect fifth perfect fifth hopefully we've got that correct i'm trusting my worksheet a bit here to do that and then we're going to go okay uh, let's do it again here we're going to say this is going to be red bracketed and white and centered so this is going to be number six and this needs the little diminished dot over here so it needs to be that with a diminished dot so i can do that by saying it's going to be this and then tying it together with an and and then quotes to put a text period quotes ended and there it is and then i'm going to find the dorian i'm going to find the b in the dorian and the related interval so i'm going to go back on over here and say here it is there's the dorian uh uh here's the dorian here's where the b is here's the related interval down below so now we've got those two kind of in one spot hopefully i've got hopefully i mapped that at all correct oh i've got one more up here and let's go boom 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 and it's centered okay so this is going to be then equal to the last one the seven uh it needs to be an uppercase so i'm going to say now i can't really change this one uh to take the dot away <laughs> uh as easily so I'm just going to say, let's just type it in here, equals lower, uh, I need an upper, just Roman number seven. Boom. And then this is going to be, I'm looking for the Dorian where we have the C to find the related interval. 
So I'm gonna say, all right, here's the Dorian, here's the C, so the related interval is a minor seven. So hopefully I've got that correct. And so now you can see we've kind of mapped both of them. So you can look at this one worksheet and say, if I start on the green, I can follow the green around and I have that circle. And then if I wanna follow the Dorian, which is the complement mode, I can follow the red around and go around that circle. So we'll continue and we'll, we'll keep on adding these next time, of course, starting on the Phrygian. Let's actually just map out the colors first out here. We'll do that now. Let's just map out. This is gonna be orange and I'll put brackets and do, do, and then this is gonna be orange brackets do, do, and centered. This will be orange brackets, orange, white and center. This will be brackets, orange, white, and center. This will be brackets, orange, white, and center. This will be uh, brackets, orange, white, and then uh, center. And then, and then this one is gonna be brackets, orange, white, and then center. Should we continue that? If I continue that around, this one's gonna be the blue, right? If I continue that, it's gonna be, okay, this is gonna be the blue and then it's going to be brackets white and center this will be uh, brackets blue white and center this will be brackets blue white and center i could format paint them that might be easier wouldn't it uh is that the same blue i think it is if i put something in here does it, it makes the white text makes it look different so i'll take that and then format paint it here Let's just format paint one of these over here. And there we go. And then let's say, then we're gonna have the purple. So this will be purple brackets, white center. And I'll just copy one of these or format paint one of these, format paint one of these, format paint one of these, format paint one of these and then format paint one of these and then format paint one of these and then we'll have the brown and brackets white and center format paint and then format paint and then format paint and then format paint and then format paint and one more time format paint and then we're going to have the yellow this one i'm not going to use the white text i'm going to use the dark text so i'm not going to make it white i'm going to keep it at the black text and format paint that up here format the paint this here format paint this here and format paint it down to here format paint this to here format paint this to here format paint this to here and let's just clean this up a little bit let's put some brackets around here not all borders but a out slide out stand border let's put that outline around here let's put an outline around this one put an outline around this one an outline around this one outline around this this and this and maybe this and then this and this okay so so now we have the outline and next time we'll go through it's a bit of a tedious tap to task to map it all out but again if you actually construct this i think it's useful to kind of follow this around and then you get an idea of of what's going on and then you can basically have all of these things in one kind of one area instead of looking at these different squares and these different circles right you can have them in one circle although it's it's kind of confusing to look at but i think it could have its uses so we'll continue on that next time